right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right, staying strong in all of these times that we're in. I hope that you have repented that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe and protected. And I hope that your days are getting better and that you get more strong and wise each day. And I just hope that the Most High be closer to you and you can hear his voice and you obey him as well, okay? So now today's message, it won't be too much of a deep message. It's kind of something more simple and brief. I ran across this website that's titled, not this website, but this in, um, this page that says, List of Countries Where the Bible is Banned. And I just want to kind of go through this because it's important that we understand that people from all walks of life, all four corners of the earth, they come from different backgrounds and different countries and cultures where the Bible is banned. The word of God is not even, you know, supposed to be there allegedly in those places because of the laws that these countries have and what have you. And, you know, we have to be compassionate, understanding of people with their different cultural views or whatnot, where they're coming from. Because there's many people among the earth who have never heard the word of God. There's people among the earth who have never heard the gospel. And it's on us as believers to share the word with people and to share testimonies and to share the power of the most high and to give people belief and win souls to the kingdom, you know. And as we're doing that, we have to be more mindful and understanding of other people's backgrounds and things of that nature. Because Paul was sent to, to Greece to do the will of God and to preach the word and the gospel, what have you. And Peter was also sent out to go to Rome and do the will of God over there as well. Many people throughout the um, Old and New Testament were sent out to different places and regions to preach, to prophesy, to do all types of different things. And we're put on earth to do the same thing as well. We're put on earth to do the will of God, let our light shine, do the great works. And we're also here to reach out to all different types of people all different types of nations, different languages, different cultures, different backgrounds and everything. Hallelujah. Because the word of God has no limits. All right. The gospel is unlimited. Okay. And we must share that with as many people as possible, not just with people who look like us or are close to us, but also people who are far from us or people who don't look like us as well. Okay. We can't have prejudiced spirits. We can't be biased. You can't be racist or pro this or anti that. Um, we have the Holy Spirit. You have the comforter. Uh, the Holy Spirit goes beyond color and race or whatnot. You know, the will of God supersedes another person's background. All right. So let's always be mindful of that. God wants us to um, spread the word and share the, the gospel as well with different types of people. All right. So what I'm going to do is read some of this website, read this article and just go from here. OK, so here we go. List of countries where the Bible is banned. Here are five countries where owning a Bible is dangerous and seeing one, even a page in your home, could cause you to go to jail. North Korea. In this state, the only thing that North Koreans are permitted to worship is the nation's leader, Kim Jong-un. Bibles are banned and those found in possession of one may face punishment, face imprisonment, torture, and even death, as do up to three generations of their family. In Somalia, Christians, reside, believers residing in Somalia face constant persecution from radical Islamists and government officials. The prevalence of the Islamic extremist group, Al-Shabaab, means that believers often practice their faith in extreme secrecy and cannot own Bibles. So a lot of times these countries, their churches get burned down, they get killed, they get persecuted, they go to jail over this stuff, okay? So shouts to all the believers all four corners of the earth, all right? Much love to y'all. Hang in there, okay? Stay strong. Maldives. The Maldives have a reputation for being a luxurious place, but a Bible can get you in trouble in this paradise. Under the country's strict Islamic laws, importing a Bible is forbidden. There is currently there is currently no translation of the Bible in Dehavi, Dehavi, the, the, official la the, the official language of the tropical nation. Morocco, it's against the law to carry a Bible translated in, Ara in Arabic in Morocco. Reports of overt Christian persecution are few, but Christian children are not given a religious education. Wow. Libya, like Morocco, Libya has laws against bringing Bibles in the Arabic language into the country. The distribution of Bibles and evangelism is illegal. And use Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, in this Central Asian dictatorship, high penalties are imposed on those who own Bibles. Authorities are known to detain Christians found in possession of the Holy Book, 
for keeping and storing extremist materials with the purpose of further distribution. And also China. The Chinese Communist Party is cracking down so much on believers. And recently the authorities have banned online Bible downloads, empty bookshops of Bibles, and even went to the extent of altering the verse of the scriptures, replacing them with President Z words. So you see that, people. You see <laughs> God will have his way with them. Yep. That's the, they're going to get that judgment. You see, these countries, they keep disobeying God. They keep rejecting him. They keep uh, straying away from his word. That's why a lot of these crazy things happen to these different countries, like these crazy disasters or these uh, this wild uh, destruction or, or calamity is because these nations go against the most high in so much ways. They with the idol worship and worshiping all those different gods, except from the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one true God. They don't want to worship him. They want to worship these different gods. They want to stray away from his word and all those different things. What people don't understand is when you turn against the most high, when you turn against his word, you, you only get punishment. You get calamity and you get disaster out of that. And this is why all four corners of the earth is in so much shambles. Because, of course, it's been prophesied, but also because so much people have turned against the Lord. And this is why us as people, we have to keep spreading the word. We have to keep spreading the gospel because the persecution is not going to only just hit those countries. It's going to hit all four corners. It's going to hit all of us, okay? So we have to be mindful of that. We have to fight the good fight. And we have to keep preaching that word because you never know how much it could bless somebody. You can never know how much it could change someone's life and transform them for the better. So I just want to express that, man. These countries and these backgrounds where people are coming from, I pray for these people, man, you know. We got to pray for them, man, you know, because the, their countries, how they don't have much freedom to things and access to stuff is insane Cause to, compared to all the freedom we have here, you know. So... Yeah, man, we have to keep being diligent for the most high and we have to keep looking out for those who are lost or troubled or disturbed. You know, God put us on earth to help as much people as we can. All right. So let's be more helpful, more generous and more mindful of that. All right. So there you have it, people. What I would love to do as we close out is give all the glory to the most high Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and praise his only begotten son to die for our sins and just go from there. OK, so here we go. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author and Perfecter of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the Beloved Son, the Blessed Only Potent, the Blessed Only Ruler, the Branch, the Bread of God, the Bread of Life, the Bridegroom, the Capstone, the Captain of Salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, the king of Israel, king of kings and lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahaya, Shai, Hamashiach, Barakathah, Shalom, Shalom, our righteousness, Yeshua, Elohim, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, 
the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the righteous branch, the revelation, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, the life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word, the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, yes, we serve an awesome creator and we serve an amazing son who died for our sins in the authority and the power in the name of Jesus Christ. We touch and agree. Amen. So there you have it, people. All right. Those are the countries that where the Bible is banned. We have to pray for this people. Let's pray that we could find different creative ways to reach out to people or some or similar people of all walks of life, of all four corners of the earth who have never heard the gospel or the word of God. Let's keep sharing it and spreading it. And let's keep sharing the love of God as well. OK, so there you have it, people. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized. You start your life over for the most high. I pray that you repent. I pray that you could do everything in your will and the most high's will to keep obeying the most high, to keep helping people, to keep spreading that word, to teach people the Bible, to teach people the gospel, teach people all those beautiful things, all the promises of God. All right. Because many people need it more than ever today. OK, so there you have it, y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace. Thank you.